90 degree circuit pliers, small flat blade screwdriver, a pair of safety glasses, a 7mm socket with an extension on a quarter drive ratchet, and if you need to use the bolt, it's an M5 by 0.8 thread. Okay, sound suppression chamber, it's made up of three parts, you've got this aluminium piece here, you've got your silicon cap bit, and then just a hose clamp. This is impossible to film on car. You fit this on car, but there is no way on earth that I can get a camera in so that you can see this. So I'm going to do this on an engine on a stand and you can just use it as a reference. So this is your standard blanking plug. It's held in with a circlet that springs outwards to hold it in place. You need a pair of circlet pliers that when you squeeze them together, it pushes them together. So right angle ones, same deal. Now, if you find that because of the angle, it's, you can't quite get enough grip, you can kind of squeeze it together and rotate it so that it's more downward like that. Now, remember, you've got to be applying pressure towards the turbo so that these don't ping off. So you want to get them in the holes, applying pressure, and this is where that little flat blade can come in. It'll just help you tweak it out. There you go. And you've got your circlip out. Now you can grab this and pull it out. If you struggle to get a good grip on this, you can take a bolt, thread it into the end, and that just allow you to wiggle it and work it out. You want to give this a good wipe, check that that's all nice and clean. Grab your replacement one, it's got an o-ring on it already. Just want to give it a little bit of lube, just so that o-ring doesn't snag. Pop it back in the same place. Now we're going to refit our circlip, stick it on our circlip pliers just on the very tips, squeeze it together, and this is where your flat blade comes in of, of working it back in. Slowly release it, and that's locked in nicely. Now we just take our hose clamp, stick it over our bung, pop the bit of silicon hose on there like that, and tighten up our hose clamp. And you're done.